Today's super short show is an update on planting tromboncino squash. So this squash has been touted as a squash that does not get the vine borer, which I know a lot of people have problems with. I do. It kills my zucchini every year. I only get one or two zucchini and then they're dead, which I don't understand why the squash vine borer has to kill the plant like that because it seems like it's killing its host. It should be uh, a little more gracious about letting its host live, I would think. But anyways, uh, this is Dave with Organic Gardening in North Carolina. And if you are interested in growing nutrient-dense organic food, you're in the right spot. Especially if you're interested in doing it in an urban environment. Let me turn the camera around and I'll show you how this trombone sino squash is doing. Alright, here we go. I planted this in August 18th and then I had something dig the seeds up so I replanted it so it was probably about September and today is August what is it I think it's the uh, or this is October the 9th so it's been a little bit more than a month that these seeds have been in the ground seems like they didn't do much for a while I guess they were building their roots so have Hopefully now that they have their roots developed, they will be ready to take off. So I've got three vines here where I initially planted them. This vine here is going this way and I trained it to go up on this trellis. It looks like it'll probably start blooming here soon. There's another vine going that way, going up the back of the trellis. Okay, and this third vine is sort of taken off across country. So maybe it's heading for this trellis over here where I have my tomatoes and cucumbers growing. But the vine is looking nice and healthy. No sign of any vine borers yet. I actually haven't seen the vine borer uh, butterfly or moth or whatever it is that makes the seeds. I haven't seen that around for a long time either. Okay. I did remember what this is finally. It's turmeric or turmeric, however you want to say it. And it has some goji berries around the top of it. So yeah, I should not, hopefully I will not get frost for almost another month. So hopefully this will have time to produce some plants. Um, <laughs> well, the plants are fine, but produce some fruit would be nice too. All right, and I did pull some thinnings out from this spot. This plant here is a thinning that I pulled out and threw down over here. So hopefully that will grow up that trellis. And I threw another thinning over here. They're not doing quite as well because I yanked them up and just threw them over there. But hopefully they'll have time to get some uh, fruit on too. Alright. I'm going to put some end screens on for you. Up here I will put my most popular video playlist. Over here I'll put a video that Google YouTube says you will like. And uh, let's see down here at the bottom I'll put my B. In case you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that B and make sure that you click the notification bell so that you get updated and don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, have a blessed day, and I'll let you go ahead and pick those videos now.